As we mentioned in the previous few videos, typically when we're integrating the product of two functions, we're going to need to use integration by parts. Now, when we're using integration by parts, we need to look at the original integral and pick out a u and a dv. Typically, we choose our u to be something that's going to get simpler when we differentiate, so we'll choose u equals x. Looking back then at our original integral, you'll notice that what we're left with is just the sine of 4x dx. To get v from dv, we need to integrate, and integrating the sine of 4x is going to give us negative 1 4 times the cosine of 4x. Now technically what we did here is a u substitution. And again, if you want a little refresher on u substitutions, you can go back to my previous playlist, which should be popping on your screen right now. But as for this problem, we're going to rewrite this integral, and we're going to use this integration by parts formula to do it. The formula says we need to multiply u times v. That's going to be x times negative 1 fourth cosine 4x. We need to subtract the integral of v du. And we're left with this line. A little bit of simplification, just bringing the constants out in front, gives us this line right here. And typically, integration by parts has succeeded if the integral that we're left with is simpler than the integral that we started with. And in this case, that is true. This integral involves another pretty simple u substitution. It is just u equals 4x, which is going to bring a factor of 1 fourth out in front of our integral. And recognizing that the integral of cosine is positive sine, we get the following, which can be simplified just a little bit. Combining the 1 fourth and the 1 fourth gives us this answer right here, which looks really great. I'm going to zoom out on this just a little bit so that you can see the whole thing. And that's going to do it for that problem. I hope it helped, and let's move on to the next one.